Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Tanya and today I'm going to be showing you the Lorac 4 um, Mega Pro Palette 4. I got this at Ulta. It has $59 price tag but I did get it on sale and um, I used the 20% off so I got this around $28 bucks, which I think is a steal. I do not own any Lorac Pro shadows so today we're going to talk about the palette I'm going to give a first impressions and a little tutorial and we're going to see what I think because I think this would be a great present to get someone, especially if it's going to be on sale at all anymore throughout the rest of the year or um, if you have any coupons or anything like that. So yeah, this is the packaging. did come a little bit beat up, but it is really, really cute. It's pink and gold and yeah. So let's get into the box. So you can see why it's a little beat up because the, the box is on there. I think it was probably supposed to be in the middle or something, but that's alright. Alright, this is the palette itself. It just says The Rock. It's already dirty. How did it get dirty? I just took it out of the box. What the heck? There must be a broken shadow in here. It says The Rock Los Angeles Mega Pro 4 palette. And then the back is just pink with some silver writing. So, oh, they're not broken. Just a little, little dirty in here. Something must have chipped off for a little bit. So it looks like when you open it, this is the clear protective piece. And it says Lorac Los Angeles. And then this is our palette. It's really, really colorful. It has a huge clear mirror. Like this mirror is awesome. And it has a lot of pretty shades in it. These two rows are mattes. Is this a matte? Yeah. These two rows are mattes and then these two rows are shimmers. So let's zoom you guys in and swatch everything and then we will try out the shadows and I'll tell you guys what I think about them. doing a little makeup before our eye base creases. Still feels pretty good right now. Um, I'm actually going to take the shade, mm, I guess cool taupe right here. And I'm going to set my eye base with this real tech, is this real tech? Oh, Royal and Lime Nickel brush. I thought this color was going to be closer to my skin tone than it is, but it's actually a pretty bit brighter. For my little transition shade, I'm going to take the shade Oat, which is right here. It does kind of look like Oats on this Royal Inlay Nickel Moda brush. I think it's Royal Inlay Nickel. I'm going to put that um, all over the crease area up to my brow bone. I have a lot of space there, so I really got to fill her in. color blends in pretty well with my skin tone actually. Actually I didn't think anything on these first like three rows right here all the way up were like that pigmented. The rest of the palette from like here over is but the first three rows I don't know they were just kind of really light they didn't really show up as well. I don't know if I just didn't get a good swatch of them or what. If you hear running around um foster cats you know. You know the drill. Ooh, go crazy today, girl. Ah. Alright, next, since these, these first two rows, like I said, are all mattes, I'm going to take the shade um, Mocha. 
that shade is really soft because as soon as you push your brush into it, you get a ton of kickback um, in the palette. But it seems to be really pretty. Okay, for I want to do something different. What can I do? What can I do? I'm actually going to take the peacock shade right here. I'm going to put it on my lid. I've never done this before. Take this little elf brush. It says it's a crease brush, but it really looks like an eyeshadow brush. So that's what I use it for. shadow isn't as pigmented on the first swipe as I thought. It's actually more like a lighter blue, but I'm going to work on building that up with a couple pass-throughs. Okay, and I'm going to actually blend this out with a Wet n Wild crease brush, and I'm just going to go into this butterscotch shade and just kind of make sure we don't have any craziness going on, and then we'll go back into that mocha and get our color built back up. And I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And right here, did have a little bit of fallout there. And then we're going to do the other eye. Okay, so that blue does have like tons of fallout, but it's actually really, really pretty. So definitely if you get this palette, do your face makeup first. I'm just going to work on blending out this line right here. I feel like it's a little bit harsh. I'm just going to go back into that mocha shade with a smaller brush. The only thing is, like, when you start doing this, it's spreading the blue. But I just want to make sure it's not, like, harsh, so. It's a little bit, yeah, that's better. I'm going to diffuse the other side as well. Okay. For the inner corner. <laughs> I'm going to take this steel wool shade. We'll see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna wipe some of that off because I feel like this is about to be like super pigmented. Okay, it's pretty. It's like an icy um, gray blue. I like it. I like it. These are all super pigmented, so I would definitely recommend using a light hand. I like that. I like that a lot. It does make my eyes burn a little though. Alright, let's see if we can find something for our lower lash line. What color do you guys think? Like, I want to keep it more neutral, do I? Yeah. That blue eye is pretty bold. I mean, I did want to try to use other colors in the palette. So I'm going to go back into that mocha shade. Oh, hi Joes. Hi. Did you want to be on camera again? You like being on camera? Say hi. Hi. Hi, I'm just so cute. I'm just so cute. I'm just a cootie cootie. Just a cootie cootie. Just a cody cody. Yep, she's still with us, huh? Yep, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can I think you're my mom? Can I think you're my mom? I am your temporary mom. I am your temporary mom. Okay, can I finish? I got lots of work to do today before we leave for vacation. What do you guys think so far? It's a little dark. <laughs> But I think it's actually pretty because I never do looks like this, which is why I think I'm like, what the heck? And the blue is like everywhere. I would definitely, I, it's hard for me to take it off right now because I've already done my makeup. But I would definitely, definitely, I'm going to try to put some concealer down, but 
definitely do my eye makeup first with this palette. This is actually a really pretty palette. I really like it. Um, but definitely do your eye makeup first. I'm going to take a little bit of mahogany, which is right here, on a flat brush. I'm going to pop that right here. I like it. Now I always do this when I do palette tutorials is I take a shadow out of here and use it as an eyeliner. I like to do that a lot when I'm doing smoky looks. So I'm actually going to do that as well so you guys can see what it would look like. So I am going to take the Raven shade even though it has glitter in it. Um, I didn't really see a lot of glitter pigment when I swatched it. So I am going to take that on my Luxie 215 small angle brush and I am going to run that as my eyeliner. Oh god, that is super soft also. Maybe I'm just not used to these soft shadows. I'm just crazy, apparently. Yep, that has fallout as well. It's all over my face already, you guys. You can barely see this over the blue, but it does give a little bit of like smokiness. Oh my god, it's all over my face. Hopefully it'll wipe away. Oh, this video is a disaster. Yeah, so it just gives it a little something extra. Makes it a little bit um, more finished. Oh, I really like this blue eyeshadow, you guys. I never wear blue eyeshadow like this, but I really like it. So yeah. I'm going to put on some mascara to finish up my face, and then I'll give you my thoughts about the palette. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this palette, you get 32 shades. They're gorgeous shades. I do think that they're unique in that you get a lot of pastel shades and you also get bold shades. I think that you wouldn't need another palette to create a lot of looks. I think it's really, really pretty. I actually love the way that my makeup turned out today. Um, besides all the fallout that I got, um, I think the shadows performed really nicely. I really like the way that they build on top of each other. They blended nicely into each other. Um, they stand out. I think they're super pigmented. And, let's see, I'm just looking in the mirror so I can give you guys any pointers that I have about them. I just really, really do like everything about this palette so far. As you know, this is my first impression. So I do think that if you were looking into this as a gift for someone, it would make a really good gift, especially at 60 bucks, you're getting 32 eyeshadows, and then you might be able to find some coupons as well as sales before Christmas. I'm sure that everyone will be having sales, and this was already on sale once, so I'm sure it'll go on sale again. And, you know, you're getting a high-end brand here. The Rock is a good brand. I really, really um, like it, everything I've tried from them so far. This is the first time that I have tried their eyeshadows. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information that I see on the box here. So this says it has a shelf life of 18 months. Um, I always keep my palettes longer than that. Unless there's something wrong with it, it smells. You can always spray it with alcohol to cleanse it, get rid of any bacteria. Um, so I definitely keep longer than 18 months. Um, it doesn't say anything about the brand being cruelty free or anything like that, so I will have to look um, that up. I'll leave it down below if they are, but there's no bunny or anybody on the back of this. So I'm going to guess that they're not. Um, let's see. So each different formula has different products, different ingredients in it. It looks like all of them have a little bit of mica and talc in them which um, I've never had any type of reaction to, but I know that some people have had reactions to that. Um, let's see. The whole palette itself is 0.45 ounces in, or 12.8 grams. Let's see what that breaks down to per shadow. We're going to grab our little calculator here. So if you have 12.8 grams in the whole palette and you have 32 shadows, you get 0.4 grams per shadow, which actually I think is a pretty good size. There's no way that with all these colors that she'll use this up immediately. Um, I'll probably, especially with my other palettes, rotate this. I'm going to try to clean it up. 
a little bit. But I did get some translucent powder in this guy. But I do think it has enough shades for you to alternate where you won't be using this up. And I do think this is a great like holiday palette. I think it's really, really pretty. I just really like this so far. I wish there was less fallout, but the shadows are just so soft and pigmented that that is what is causing them to break apart faster. So you just want to use a really light hand. Do your makeup first. Do your eyeshadow first is the most important piece of advice I can give you about this palette because I did get fallout. I have blue everywhere. Everywhere there is blue. So, oh Josie, you look so cute. So definitely do your eyeshadow first and then do your the rest of your face. I'm always a face first kind of girl and I've never had fallout like this, but I've never also owned anything as high-end as this. The most high-end the most high-end palette I own right now is the Tartlet in Bloom, and I have no fallout with that whatsoever. Um, but this is a different kind of product. I can even tell when I was swatching that things are pressed differently. You have different formulas, so definitely just be careful be aware of that. But other than that, I would definitely give this palette two thumbs up. It's definitely a recommendation of mine, and I can't wait to make more looks with this. Like I said, this is a bold look for me. Okay. Actually, my eyes look kind of green. I don't know. I thought they looked brown. Now they look green. Who knows? <laughs> but um, I definitely recommend it, especially since I picked this up for 28 bucks off of an original price was $60. Um, I'm definitely going to keep using this and creating some new looks. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, let me know. I don't buy every new release just because, I, I mean, I can't afford it. And, I mean, I already have a lot of eyeshadow, but I can kind of review some of the other palettes I have if you guys are interested. Um, you can see all the palettes that I have on my palette d stash video. Um, I will leave that linked below, and I will leave this linked down below, too. Please note that these will be affiliate links um, for the products I leave listed below. Um, if you guys could click them, I would really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Please subscribe to this video. To this video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos, and hit this video with two thumbs up, or one thumbs up, hit this video with a like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!